In the 19th century, Europe was in supposed turmoil. After the defeat of Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte, the Austrian Empire took control over most of Western Europe, Prussia, Hungary, and of course, Italy. We already know of the 1848 revolution to try and crumble the Austrian Empire. Country after country, it became a trend to fight for freedom. But who were the ones to start this trend? Contrary to popular belief, it was in France. Let's rewind to 1815, to the country that started it all, Italy. The Congress of Vienna was a meeting between the rulers of Western Europe. Driven out of their countries by Napoleon Bonaparte, they decided they had to agree on a set of decrees. Prince Metternich was the Chancellor of Austria, and he was the main instigator of the Holy Alliance. But that's another story. He was the main reason why Italy and the other countries, like Prussia, were split into many states. Back to Italy. The revolution started in 1815, but not in the exact same way as in 1848. The citizens of Italy formed secret societies. These secret societies were formed to get rid of Austrian oppression. It was considered illegal to read, publish, speak, or even think about ideologies of liberalism. So they did it in secret. The first and most important of these secret societies formed was the Carbonari. The Carbonari was the first major secret society. At first it was small, made by the working class, mainly coal burners, hence the name Carbonari. But soon it grew, and more people joined, and it consisted of mainly people from the upper middle class. With over 20,000 members, they organized themselves into small armies to overthrow the Austrian Empire. In 1820, the Carbonari released their first strike. They led out their armies against King Ferdinand in Naples. However, Ferdinand was able to suppress the outbreaks. This did not discourage revolutionaries, and they tried again in 1830. They were unsuccessful, and after this they disbanded. But this was not the end to secret societies. The Young Italy movement was the next major secret society. It was created after the disbandment of the Carbonari and was led by Giuseppe Mazzini. Mazzini, a modern day symbol of liberalism, was a former member of the Carbonari. He decided to create his own organization, however, this time, he chose to focus mainly on the youth of Italy. Like the Carbonari, it started small, but eventually it contained over 60,000 members. Unfortunately, this only made the movement more public, and soon it was no longer a secret. This would come back to haunt Mazzini. In 1833, Mazzini led out a revolution against Charles Albert after the king refused to consider war with Austria. However, it failed. This happened because information of the movement was revealed to Charles Albert, ironically, by one of Mazzini's most trusted lieutenants. With the ability to predict the attack, he was able to suppress the revolt revolts. Back to 1848. Now we go back to 1848. Mazzini was once again at his antics to liberate Italy, but was mainly focused on creating Rome into a republic. The execution of the Prime Minister was what triggered this revolution. The Pope, knowing that his past actions would get him killed, fled. By Mazzini and Garibaldi, they established a republic. However, it was short-lived, as the Pope reported this to Louis Bonaparte. Bonaparte then dispatched his army to attack Rome, and thus the revolutions ended. For now. <laughs> 